You guys have such great chemistry as mother and daughter in this. And um, I wanted to know, Rosalie, as someone who's new to this industry, did you have any good advice from Sandra when it comes Mm -hmm. to working in the industry? And did you take anything away for future projects? Oh, I mean, unfortunately, we didn't actually work next to each other in the booth. We were all recorded separately. And I only I only met Sandra in person um, at the beginning of the press tour. But I would say that the thing that Sandra has told me that I feel like eat. eat. I tell her to eat. Mm. I tell her to sleep. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, And teach her to, you know, if there's a question that you do not want to answer, don't answer it. That takes a lifetime to learn. Mm. And also, so I basically take her, teach her wellness, <laughs> how to take care of herself. Yeah, That's yeah. It. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Something that you've said many uh, times was to be kind to yourself. Yeah. I feel like as a t- teenager, I can be quite self-deprecating. I know. It's so difficult. Mm-hmm. It's really, really difficult. And I think Sandra just taught me to love myself. Yeah, for sure. And Sandra, I mean, I've been in love with your work for many years. I can't wait for Uma. Uh-huh. Um this feels like a very personal story and I feel like a lot of Asians can relate to the story that's being told here in Turning Red. Um, Playing Ming, did you ever feel like it was, did you ever reference things that felt close to your own life? Like when it came to portraying this character, this mother figure? Oh, I'm sure. uh, Yes. Meaning like uh, not only as Asian Americans, everyone, but I will be specific about Asian Americans. Uh, our mothers can be tough. Every mother is tough, Mm -hmm. but our mothers can be tough and the desire to please them, Mm -hmm. uh, and the difficulty of, uh, of finding yourself while maintaining loyalty, um, is, is really real. Um, so it was a great, uh, opportunity just to be able to put that on screen. I will say one of my favorite, not to give too much away, but one of my favorite images that actually brought tears to my eyes is the moment that May as a panda is trying to leave, um, the temple and her mother and her aunties and her grandmother are all trying to hold her back. Mm -hmm. That's, I feel, I feel so deeply as an Asian American, like the tie between the people who really love you, who want you to stay and your deep need to go. Um, And I'm so happy that that image is a part of the the film. Yeah, I I agree. And I I think I really appreciate you being so vocal when it comes to Asian activism and speaking up for the community. I wanted to know, um, what do you hope for this younger, you know, new generation of Asian talent like Rosalie um, who are coming into this, er this, this industry that's, you know, being flooded with new faces, uh, what do you what do you hope for them? What I hope for, yeah, <laughs> is that um, that there's space and patience and time to develop. You, you know what I mean? This is this is a real nice, good beginning time for us, where there are more stories that are ready to be told. Uh, and I really feel in the Asian American community, storytelling wise, acting wise, in all in all. In all branches, we need time to continue to develop, um, and uh, and I'm just thrilled. <laughs> I'm just thrilled that there's uh, space for them. Amazing. Well, I really want to thank you guys for talking with me, and I can't wait for everybody to see the film. I laughed, I cried. It was a whole thing. Good. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you. Thank you.